I just did what needed to be done. It's something we all hope we do, help another person in their time of need. But hope and action are two very different things. It was pretty rough. It was uh, in, like intense black smoke. It was just black. Dathan Collins was trying to find his uncle's apartment on Friday night when he pulled into this Powhatan Trail complex. That's when he saw the smoke and this man standing on his second floor balcony. I mean, I knew he was an older man, so I probably assumed that he had uh, health issues. So that was another reason. I was just like, somebody has to do something. After waiting 10 long minutes for the man to come down, Collins headed for the front door and started to climb the stairs. I grabbed him and walked him out. That's where he found Mark Hughes. Just kind of facing the wall, really, actually. And uh, he didn't know where he was. He was lost. So just grab hold of my back. I'll take you out. OK. Uh, I sat him up against my car, and then the fire department showed up about three minutes later. Hughes, who has COPD and already struggles to breathe, wasn't hurt. WLKY was there as the two reunited for the first time since the fire. I was just checking on you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. A self-proclaimed military brat, Hughes isn't one to embellish a story. But Collins admits it was a close call. He says it's something he'll never forget. I don't know if he remembers me or not, but I remember him, so. Morgan Lentis, WLKY News.